Hello, it's Jimmy. I'm on a late, late shift at work today because we've got an awful event tonight with Stacey Halls, whose debut novel, The Familiars, has just come out. So I'm starting at work late because I'm working late for the to do the event. And it's just lovely and quiet and it's raining outside and it's very relaxing. I could just sit here all day, but I do have to get ready and go to work in a minute. I thought I'd record a short video about short stories. So in the past couple of days, I've read this, The Victim by P.D. James. So this is a little single story edition published by Faber as part of their Faber story series to celebrate the 90th anniversary of Faber, the publisher. I haven't read any P.G. James before. She's known for a lot of different sort of crimey mystery fiction. In, and she's also wrote Children of Men, the book that the film was based on. So this story was the first I read by her. I loved it. It was brilliant. It really draws you into the mind of the narrator who sets out to go and kill someone. And it almost makes you worry about P.D. James. How does she build this mental state so perfectly? It's full of twists, and twists can go wrong in a couple of ways. They can be too predictable, they can be too ridiculous and over the top, or just eye rolling, but they're not like that. They really enhance the story and sort of get the hair standing up on the back of your neck. So I really recommend this story. And after reading it, I was thinking I might check out uh, Sleep No More, which is a collection of six short stories by P.G. James, including The Victim, this one that I've already read and enjoyed. One thing I really liked about this short story, coming in its own little thing, you read it, you know how long it is, you know the end is coming, you know the whole thing's going to be wrapped up, and that's kind of a thing about all short stories, but it being on its own as well, it just kind of feels like a very low pressure way to read something. And I was wondering about how people read short story collections. Do you get a short story collection and read it in order all the stories in one go as if you were reading a novel? Do you get it and read it all in one go but maybe not in the order that the stories are presented in the book? Do you ever get a short story collection and just read one of the stories and put it back on your shelf and a few months later read one of the other stories? And also does it make a difference to how you read a short story collection whether it was written and published in one go? Sometimes you get sort of themed short story collections or whether it's a sort of a retrospective on a writer's career, like a variety of short stories that they've written over many decades that were published separately earlier. I quite like the idea of having them available to dip in, read one, and then put the book back and go and read something else. Also, how do you count it? I know a lot of people on Booktube like to count how much they've read. Would you count this as a book that you've read? When you grab a short story collection and you just read one from it and you put it back on the shelf and then read another a couple of months later, do you worry about how that messes up your counts? I don't use Goodreads. Does Goodreads account for reading one story from a collection in some way and tell you, I don't know, how many pages you've read this year or something like that? I know it might not be very important how we count what we read, but maybe it is something someone out there who reads short stories has thought about, so tell me in the comments. So. What short stories do you love? Is there a short story collection that I really need to read? You can leave a comment on YouTube or you can get in touch with me on Twitter at gime, J-I-I-M underscore E. Or you can get me on Instagram at jimmy underscore can underscore read. Thanks for watching.